Hi, Tawala Shara Kodari, striker for Amir SA, number nine, also known as T. Kind of, it's a, kind of like a funny story that I heard from my family because I obviously don't remember. But we were watching um, a football game, a Nigerian football game, and Nigerians, I think Nigeria scored, and the whole family yelled goal. And then after that, I yelled go to, and that was my first. So that was how the first talk came about. Well, I mean, since I was, since I can remember, I've always loved playing football. Everything I do is football. In school, outside school, always playing football. And, you know, my family, they could see that. I mean, back then, if you wanted to play football, your parents would probably tell you, no, I'll go read your books or something. But it wasn't really like that with my family because my dad was an athlete. So I had that small push from them and support from them too to play football. So after uh, I went to uh, sports high school and then after high school, I went to um, my grassroots football academy. I was in cash academy. I was in, uh, after that, I went to Box to Box, and that's how I got to meet my agent, Jean Gérard. And from there, uh, I had trials in Freiburg and Toulouse. And then I had my, I signed my first pro contract in Latvia. I was happy to go to Latvia and sign and start playing pro football. But like I said, it was also kind of like disappointing, but I was happy to start my pro career finally. And I was also happy I was going with teammates, like people that I know, people that I've played with. Yeah, so I knew that wouldn't be hard for me to adapt to the lifestyle of the football there. So I was happy to finally start and so was my family because I finally got to start living that football dream. I wouldn't say I was trying to force a move. All I would say was, I mean, every footballer wants to move higher. I mean, every individual in life wants to move higher in life. And I felt that was the right time for me to move. And the club knew this too, but there was just a little bit disagreement between um, my options and the club's options. Um, but at the end, we finally got to decide on one thing and what was better for me. And I went to the Bundesliga, but I wasn't trying to force a move or anything. It was just a little disagreement between me and the club. At first, when I heard that I was signing in Cologne, I'm like, wait, what? Because big move from Latvia. And I was like, in my head, am I ready for this? But I was thinking I wasn't ready, but I was preparing myself. You know, whatever comes my way, I'm gonna be ready and take, the, take on that challenge. But when I was there, I wouldn't say I had the best time. I wouldn't say it was a step too big or was the step too small. I feel it was a step I needed in my football career to understand what football really is, what being a professional really is. And my move to Cologne wasn't a move to help me shine to the world or for the world to know who Tolu is. It was a move to help Tolu understand what football is outside Latvia, what being a professional, a top player is. And I really needed that and I understood that. I didn't have the best time there, but was a, I learned a lot there and I'm really happy and grateful for that move. Dennis was, how do I put it, was the Nigerian brother I needed to come through. I had Kingsley there, but he's, he's, he has Nigeria origins, but he's not. He doesn't have the mentality like we, we do. But when I, from the first day I got there till the last day, until now, he's always been, he's always been a brother. He always helped 
with the language, with the advices, helping to ease down the pressure and everything. And he's such a high spirited guy with the fun and the vibes and everything. So he's a cool guy. And Dennis, like I said, he was a Nigerian brother. I knew that too. We speak pidgin English, go eat the African food with, vibe with and everything. And he's also a stri an attacker like me. And so I learned from him too. And we had a good friendship. He also had a tough time in Germany, but we could see what happened after that. He went to the Premier League and he did his thing. The Nigerian football world is quite big and it's like one family. We've all known each other from different places. Either we've played against each other or heard about each other or shared the same manager or something. And in whatever way we feel like we can support another brother. Like when I say brother, I mean football player, we would, even if it's just a post or uh, an advice or something. But I mean, I have quite a couple of friends in the Super Eagles. Um, there is a, a Tebo, a Wani, Dennis, Osimen, uh, Moses Simon, Muffy. Uh, there's a lot, there's actually a lot. But it all boils down to the one big family and the one network, if you know what I mean. Because when we're in Europe, we're not in Nigeria anymore. That's when we need each other to be one, to be brothers. You never know when one of us, when one football player might call and need your advice, or you might meet up one in a restaurant and, oh, because I never knew you before. I wouldn't say hi to you. It doesn't change anything if I didn't know you before. We're Nigerians, we're football players. That's when we build that relationship. It's a different feeling representing your country, playing in your home, home ground, like representing your country, wearing that jersey, the green, white, green, it's different. It doesn't matter at what age, even if I'm 32, as long as if, if it's my first time playing for Nigeria at 32, I don't care. As long as I get to represent my country, that's what's important to me. But obviously I would like to start at a, at a young age, but whenever it happens, I'll be grateful for it. That's, that would be like a dream come true. My time at Amiens has really been good. I have no regrets. I'm so happy with my move to Pamia because after the after my move to Cologne, I needed I didn't get enough playing time and what I did what I needed in my career was playing time, was chance and the opportunity to show myself, to get that confidence back, to build it back, to get back to goal scoring. You know, if you understand what I mean. And my move to Amiens has helped that and my teammates and the coaches too, they also help that. I have no regrets. I mean, if you ask any footballer who's lived in France or any person who's lived in France, they will tell you French people are all vibes. And that's me. I like to laugh. I like to have fun. So apart from the football, the country at first and the CE, it's, all, it's what I needed. That vibes, that happiness, that exposure, that joy. And when you have that, I think you look exceptional on the pitch. The celebration T came about because um, my nickname is T and the T came from Tolu Alashir, Emmanuel Arukudari. So it just corresponds with the T celebration. I'm not the first to do it. I think it was um, Morgan. She was a female football player for the USA. She was the first to do it, but I mean, we could always copy celebrations. So.